Hey guys, back again with another video. If you are making a travel videos, short movies, you might be needing a unique cinematic transitions. If you are looking for a better transitions to your videos, this video is for you guys. Hey what's up guys I hope you having a great day welcome back to the brand new exciting video if you are new here I am Dimson here for my channel I make videos here on YouTube about filmmaking and other VFX stuff as well if you into that stuff consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification icon so you never miss a thing on my channel and today's video all about cinematic transitions there are lots of transitions when it come to cinematic mode you might be thinking what to use when to use to make your videos look better I've come up with few unique cinematic transitions which can make your videos look better I'm going to use my after effects knowledge which I've known so far I think I'm going to make pretty good output so without Without any further ado, let's dive into Adobe After Effects. I've got my clips in After Effects and let's make a composition. I'm gonna pull my clips into the composition something like this. So when you're gonna make transitions, it's all about the clips that you're gonna choose. To be more precise, all the clips that you're gonna choose should be matches each other. All the elements, camera angles should be matches along with each clip. Let's resize the clip and let's find the second clip which is gonna match with this first clip. Okay, I'm gonna pick this clip and drag it here on the top of my first clip. Let's grab this somewhere here. Okay, I'm gonna play the first clip. It's a time lapse zoom in clip. I want this to be end right here because it's too long. And let's trim this clip. Hit the Ctrl Shift D and speed it. And delete the rest of the clip. And then I'm gonna pre-compose this clip something like this. Once done, let's grab the second clip to the end of the first clip something like this. Okay, all good to go. So in the first transition, I'm gonna make simple zoom transition with unique effect. Let's call it zoom hit transition. You name it. First thing, I'm gonna search motion tile effect and drag it onto the second clip. And then increase the values of output height and value about 200 something like this. You will know why we do that later on. Let's make adjustment layer on top of this clip. Once done, search the transform and drag it onto the adjustment layer. And then go few frames back from where the first clip ends and make a scale keyframe in 100. And again go forward on timeline to the one frame back before the clip ends, somewhere here. I'm gonna make another keyframe on scale around 200. And let's go to the next frame where the second clip starts and hit the stopwatch to make keyframe and change the scale value to 70. And finally, let's go a little forward, few keyframes, and let's make another keyframe scale value back to 100. So if I play the clip, it's gonna be like this. For more smooth animation, I'm gonna select all keyframes and make easy ease them. If you want animation a little bit faster, you can change the keyframe distance, something like this. Next step is let's select these keyframes and click on this little icon and it will appear the graph editor. I'm gonna select the first handle and drag it around here and then pick the next handle and drag it all the way backward. And on the next handles let's do the opposite. The first handle all the way backward and second one somewhere here. So the animation gonna be starting slow suddenly speeds up something like this. And I'm gonna turn on the motion blur icon in all these three layers to have more seamless effect. There you go, and the basement almost done, and this is where the magic happens. I'm gonna split the adjustment layer right on the both side and keep it only where the effect happens. And then let's make a new camera on top. And if you change the orientation on camera, it won't show anything. But now I'm selecting these three layers and pre-compose and turn on this 3D icon. So if you change the camera orientation now, it will show every changes. And I'm gonna hit the old and right click on the mouse and click on the orientation keyframe. And I'm gonna type wiggle open parentheses and one comma point two. So if you play the clip, you will see little camera shaking slightly and some black hole edges of the clips also. So I'm gonna split the camera layer to keep that effect only where the transition happened to the next clip. Once done, I'm gonna make new null object on top and search the slider control in effect and preset and drag it onto the null object. Once done, scroll down the camera orientation and delete the first number in parentheses and then pick the pick clip icon right here 
and parent it right here in the slider controller and it's gonna change entire formula so now if you change value of slider controller you will see the cool shaking effect and then I will go back few keyframes on timeline and I'll make a key animation on slider control in value of zero and then go a little forward somewhere here and change the values as per your requirement and in the next frame I'll reset the slider controller value to zero so if you play clip you will see zoom and hit effect something like this and make the keyframes easy ease and split the null object from the both side and keep only where the effect happens and let's split the camera layer as well okay let's play it okay so when shaking happens I can see black holes in the edges so what I'm gonna do scale up a little bit the clips there you go let's play it cool so in the second transition I'm gonna make simple speed ramping transition let's do it okay now I'm gonna select these three layers which is first transition and pre-composite and first thing I will right click time and hit enable time remapping and let's play the clip again okay I want second transition to be happen somewhere around here I'll make a key on time remapping and I'll make another key in few keyframes forward again I'll scrub through on timeline and make another keyframe and then drag it all the way back next to this keyframe and I'll grab another clip to make second transition let's resize it I will drag it somewhere the transition happen somewhere here I'm gonna right click time and hit enable time remapping and scrub through timeline and I'll make another key here and another key in somewhere here once done let's grab this keyframe next to the first keyframe something like this okay let's play it well looks pretty good and now what I'm gonna do let's play with the graph editor let's select these keyframes and hit on this little graph edit icon and first handle somewhere here and the second one somewhere here and let's play and see okay looks good let's select second clip keyframes and head over to the graph editor and I'm gonna drag second handle somewhere here and first handle all the way backward once done let's play it this is quite okay for me in the next one I'm gonna make something called mock transition this is quite tricky I'll show you step by step how I'm gonna make it okay let's drag the next clip I'm gonna select this one and drag it over here I'll resize the clip and let's try to match with this girl and cycling guy let's bring down the opacity value of this layer as much as you match the result will be pretty cool so I'm gonna keep resizing and match with the bottom clip I'm gonna match exactly with the bottom layer looks pretty much good once done I'm gonna search liquify effect and drag it on top layer and then pick this warp brush and you can change the brush size and pressure here and I'm gonna match this girl exactly with the cycling person okay once done on the first frame I'm gonna hit the stopwatch on the distortion percentage and let's scrub through a few keyframes head and make the value to zero and then I'm gonna select the bottom layer and add the same liquify effect on it and keep the timeline on the same keyframe let's select this warp brush tool and try to match the cycling person to this girl once done let's make a key on this keyframe value of 100 and I'm gonna go all the way back in this keyframe and change value to zero and finally I'm gonna select this top layer and click T on the keyboard to appear the opacity option in the first keyframe I'm gonna lower the opacity and in the few keyframes head I'm gonna make it 100 there you go on the next transition I'm gonna make something glitchy let's try that okay somewhere around here I'm gonna make a new black solid layer and name it as noise I'm gonna apply fractal noise on it and then change the fractal type max and noise type to block tick on invert and increase the contrast value around 200 and lower the brightness value around negative 30 I'm gonna scroll down the transform menu and untick the uniform scaling increase the scale width around 6000 and scale height around 120 
once and hold on alt key right click on evolution stopwatch and i'm gonna type time asterisk sign maybe around 50. it depends on the noise speed you want once done let's pre-compose this solid layer and name it noise something like this and i'm gonna make new adjustment layer on top of it and i'm gonna apply displacement map effect on it and on the displacement map layer i'm gonna change it to noise and after once you change these horizontal and vertical displacement values you will see the slide glitch on the clip at the same time you will see some black holes in the edges to fix it what i'm gonna do i'm gonna apply motion tile effect above the displacement map effect on the adjustment layer and then i'm gonna scrub through the timeline and make a key on horizontal and vertical displacement somewhere here on the adjustment layer and i will make the value zero and scrub through few keyframes head increase the both these values again oops i need to change this to noise layer and when i changing these values i see a cool glitch effect and now i'm gonna select another clip and drag it bottom of this clip and resize it and drag it somewhere around here once done i'm gonna copy these keyframes on adjustment layer and paste it few keyframes forward and right click on them and reverse the keyframes and then I'll increase the motion tile effect, output height and width around 200 to avoid the black holes in edges. Once done, I'm gonna duplicate the bottom two layers and with the two layers, I'm gonna select my top two layers and pre-compose it and name it as color. Then I'll duplicate these layers and apply the shift color effect on it. And on this effect, I'm gonna keep the red on and turn off the green and blue. Again, I'm gonna duplicate the same layer on this layer, I'm gonna turn on the green and turn off the red and blue. And let's change the blending mode to screen on top two layers. And I'll add motion tile effect on this layer. Then let's split these three layers somewhere around here on both sides and keep only where the transition happens. And let's play it. So the last transition is Luma key. Okay, I'm gonna make next transition somewhere here. Let's find Luma key effect and apply on this clip. I'm gonna increase the threshold. Okay, let's split this bottom layer right here. First, I'll grab another clip and I'm gonna put below on this clip. And then make a key on threshold somewhere here and go a little forward, increase the threshold again a little bit more. I'm gonna adjust the bottom clip a little bit and then again go a little forward copy the same key and paste it here and I'm gonna go a little forward on the timeline and increase the value all the way and then I'll decrease the edge thin a little bit to have creative effect okay let's preview it looks cool I'm gonna add some glitch elements to fill this space which I made already I'm gonna duplicate those glitches and grab glitch effect bottom here somewhere here this is pretty cool guys and let's split these layers here cool let's play it There you go, I think I made something creative. It's all about your creativity and the time that you're gonna spend. So this is pretty much it guys from today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and got something out of it. If you did, consider subscribing and turn on the bell notification icon. I'm gonna do tutorials here and there. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, links in the description box. I'll see you guys on next one. Stay creative, peace.